Let's get to uh, the big question. Dr. Richard Weichardt answering the biggie about Adolf Hitler. Was he a Christian? Take it away, interview boy. Was Adolf Hitler, in your estimation, by any definition, as the atheists claim, a Christian? Okay, well, here's going to depend on the definition. You said by any definition. I actually did a debate on this with uh, an atheist, uh, Richard Carrier. Uh, and one of our uh, debate questions, debate revolved around how to define a Christian. Uh, because Hitler did like Jesus. Uh, if you asked Hitler about Jesus, Hitler would have said, yeah, Jesus was a wonderful Aryan fighter who fought against the Jews. And he was an anti-Semite. And so, you know, Hitler okay, well, had well, this well, 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 <laughs> Adolf Hitler thought Jesus was, well, a German or Nordic. He was Aryan. Yes, he thought he was Aryan. Okay, how did he get that? Actually, he wasn't the first one to come up with this. This wasn't original with Hitler. There actually were quite a number of anti-Semitic thinkers in the late 19th and especially early 20th century who believed that Jesus had been fathered by a Roman soldier in the area of Galilee, which was a Hellenized region, and that this Roman soldier was Aryan. Uh, and so that... Wow. Uh, uh, so that Jesus had, of course, obviously they're throwing out the virgin birth. They certainly don't believe in the virgin birth, you know, here. So they think that Jesus is fathered by an Aryan uh, and that maybe his mother even had some Aryan blood, although they, they didn't know about that or not. But uh, maybe there's some even Aryan blood there. In any case, they thought he's primarily Aryan. Uh, and they saw him as uh, a fighter who was fighting against the Jews. And interestingly, the story that Hitler loved most in Scripture, uh, in the Gospels, was the story of Jesus going in the temple. Because the way Hitler told it was Jesus was this Aryan fighter holding this whip. And by the way, Hitler, I, I have a picture in my book about Hitler holding a whip. Hitler had his riding crop that he carried around sometimes early on in his career. And I don't know if they, he did that because he wanted to be like Jesus or just because he was defending himself. But he, he liked this story about Jesus going into the temple with a whip, fighting against the Jews, who he saw as the money-grubbing, covetous uh, Jews there in the temple, and driving them out there. But then... Hitler thought that Jesus had become a martyr because he'd stirred up the animosity of the Jews, had been killed by the Jews, but that was it. He didn't think Jesus rose from the dead, uh, and he didn't think that Jesus' death had any significance other than just as a martyrdom of a, a heroic Aryan figure. In fact, at one time, uh, Hitler, in a speech in the middle of the 1920s, Hitler actually made the very blasphemous statement that he was going to complete what Jesus was unable to complete because Jesus had been killed. On behalf of the early church fathers, I do believe they would respond to the question, was Adolf Hitler a Christian, by saying lovingly and gently, are you nuts? Adolf Hitler's understanding of the Bible, what was his attitude about the Old Testament? Well, he thought the Old Testament was completely Jewish through and through, and so he had absolutely no... Uh, esteem for the Old Testament. He thought it was a, a tale of, uh, just to give an example, he talked at one point about how uh, Abraham uh, went down to Egypt and basically sold his uh, wife to Pharaoh because he's wanting to do business in Egypt. And, you know, so he had a very low view of the Old Testament as just being the, the story of, of the, these Jews uh, and their covetousness and greed. And he thought, he thought it revealed their character in a lot of ways, which he thought was very negative, of course. But interestingly, even the New Testament, uh, he thought most of the New Testament was penned by a sneaky rabbi named Saul, uh, who changed his name to Paul to sort of sneak in a lot of Jewish ideas into, into Christianity. So he thought that even though he liked Jesus in certain ways, although he didn't even believe all of what Jesus said either, uh, but even though he had this, this sort of positive view of Jesus, he thought that Saul had corrupted everything in Christianity from the very start, from the get-go. And so... Uh, Christianity was uh, had become Judaized in his view uh, from the, his very origins. So he was actually out there more than, say, the Jesus Seminar. What about Adolf Hitler's belief in the afterlife? Was it Christian? No, he did not believe in a personal afterlife, and he made this clear on a number of occasions. In fact, one time Goebbels in his diaries even made, uh, made the comment that uh, Goebbels thought that we, they did need to believe in a personal afterlife, but that Hitler did not. And, and, and there's a lot of other places, too. Hitler talks at one point, I think this is in his second book, I could be wrong about that, it might be somewhere else, but he mentioned how uh, that we, when we die, we return to the reservoir of nature, basically. So, you know, he, he had this view that we sort of just go back to nature. We're not really, uh, there's no personal 
afterlife, after death, and certainly no punishment or reward uh, in the afterlife in the sense that we would think about it. The only uh, reward that would be in the after, so-called afterlife would be in, in the terms of passing on whatever we would have to our children and grandchildren and such like that. So that would be sort of the afterlife, too, that he would see. All right. Now, let's go back to my original question, which was, was Adolf Hitler by any definition a Christian? Everything that you have described, Richard, I, I, I can't think of anybody these days who would call themselves Christians who had views like Adolf Hitler. Is there any way that we can sneak him under the umbrella of Christianity, <laughs> considering what he believed about the Old New Testament, the cross, the resurrection, afterlife, the deity of Jesus? Well, yeah, he certainly didn't believe it. He didn't believe in the deity of Jesus. He didn't believe in the resurrection of Jesus. He didn't believe Jesus did any miracles. He didn't believe in most of the New Testament. He didn't believe in any of the Old Testament. So, I mean, by the most definitions of Christianity, I, no, he, he's not going to fit uh, the, the definition of what would be a Christian. By any definition, and there are a lot of them these days, Adolf Hitler was not a Christian. In uh, Great Britain, a woman was just taken to court for committing the high crime of sharing her faith in the workplace. One more sign, the window of opportunity to preach the gospel freely is closing. We want to take advantage of the open window we have and reach more university students with the gospel than ever before. Our campaign is called Rescue the Perishing. Would you please support us in our effort to preach the gospel to these very confused, very hurting, and very lost kids? If you can support us any amount, we would be profoundly grateful.